can't go too much higher because the, well, the bad day. The door broke. Right, you get like soccer moms from Sacramento, California, and their husband's an engineer, and they've never been to a neighborhood uh, where the houses sell for less than $800,000. This is uh, one of the few rooms with windows. It's ready to go, moving ready. Get our little house shot and a walk up. I'll uh, get some photos. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment, and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created. Yeah, there you go, internet. There's needles there. Foundation on the ground. Well, good news is it comes with a brand new furnace. Once yeah, after you pay for solid. it. Buku bucks can be made, but you better prepare yourself and you better have the right expectations set. Uh, or you absolutely will lose money because you can lose money and I've seen a lot of people lose money. I can need a demon star when they do what they do and now I feel like taking off find a place with the view the pain is never gonna Like dude, you could lose a lot of money, right? Like at Holden Wise, you know, we're out here in the Cleveland market and dude, you know, people are picking up properties for pennies on the dollar compared to what they're buying them for out where they live, right? Like we get a lot of people from California, but dude, if you don't know what you're getting into, like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties, we also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties and it's not working for them and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them uh, or just sell the investment because they're done. All right, so here's your utilities, fully set up with no problems. There's part of the uh, foundation on the ground. Well, good news is it comes with a brand new furnace. Once yeah, after you pay it, for it. This is uh, one of the few rooms with windows. There's a jug light room. <laughs> and vinyls. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. As you guys can see, the uh, garage is in great shape. It's ready to go. Moving ready. Get our little house shot and a walk up. Uh, get some photos. Roll. Us. It's rolling, 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 rolling. I'll come back through and get the other wall. Right, you get like soccer moms from Sacramento, California, and their husband's an engineer, and they've never been to a neighborhood uh, where the houses sell for less than eight hundred thousand dollars. So they have no idea uh, what it's like. They have no idea that you have to tell your maintenance crew, "Hey, don't just stick your hand blindly on top of door jams or in cabinets, so you don't get poked with a fucking needle." went right down the stairs, that would have been sweet. Oh, good. I don't know like this. Yeah, I, I don't know this way. Okay. Uh, I mean, I squeezed my bladder. I got proof. Let me kick it off. Uh, we can do an outro, I guess. I don't know, what should I say for an outro? Uh, this place sucks. I don't understand that that's the kind of stuff you gotta do. They don't understand that if they fly into the Cleveland market, you know, from beautiful suburbia in California, that it would be a poor decision to tour some of these neighborhoods without a freaking loaded pistol on their side because they're probably gonna get robbed or worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've never really uh, experienced freaking trap houses uh, on the street, right? So, it's about helping those people too, man. It's about teaching those people like, hey, there are no shortcuts. It, it, it's not magic. Like, yeah, buku bucks can be made, but you better prepare yourself and you better have the right expectations set uh, or you absolutely will lose money because you can lose money and I've seen a lot of people lose money, right? No, I can't do that. I, but it's I listed. Have, so you tell 
to me, you're not going to give me the owner's name. So who are we supposed to pay our rent to next month? Whoever manages the property. I need their information, dumbass. I mean, a bathroom over here? Yeah, I want to take a look for everyone. Report it. You know, in fact, uh, what you call it, the majority of the evictions uh, that you guys see that we do, that's another comment we get that fucking starts to get annoying after a while. You get all these motherfuckers like, what's up with Holden Wise? They must be the worst landlords in the world if they're evicting all these people. Well, number one, it's a $75 million real estate portfolio, pal. So when you got $75 million worth of real estate in a place like Cleveland where houses can be bought for like 30, 40 grand, that's a lot of fucking properties. It's a numbers game, right? Talk to Walmart. How many upset customers do they have? Talk to AT&T. How many upset customers do they have? So just by the number, sure scale, you're going to get your complaints, number one. But number two, uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because... Somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there, or... They're just so over it, and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at. This is our property. This is what's going on. Just get rid of it. Like, get it away from our lives. I can't go to the fire because the, <laughs> well, the bad there. The door broke. All right. came right off the hinges when I tried to open it. <laughs> this one might need a little bit more work. Yeah, just a little bit. Not not a whole lot. Yeah, there's not those flies. There is definitely something dead in here. There you go, looks like fire took care of that door for us. Okay. Oh gosh. Jeez. There's a dead thing in here somewhere. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's the unmistakable smell of roaches and something dead. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.